What if I told you that flying cars are not just a sci-fi dream anymore, and that China is leading the race to make them real? While the West debates regulations, Chinese companies are already taking off, literally. Buckle up, because today we're diving into the sky-high world of China's flying car revolution, and trust me, it's wild. Flying cars fall into a category called EVTOLs, electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles. These aren't built for long-distance travel like airplanes, but for short-range urban air mobility. Think of Uber, in the sky. They're electric, they're vertical, they're quiet, and they're designed to avoid traffic and turn hours into minutes. Now here's where it gets interesting. While the US and Europe are bogged down in paperwork and testing, China said, let's go. Backed by Xpeng Motors, this company is working on a flying car that can switch between driving and flying mode. The Xpeng X2 has already completed successful public test flights in Dubai and China. And yes, that's a real flying car. Not CGI, E Hang's EH216 is like a giant drone that can carry two passengers. It's already completed 30,000 plus trial flights across multiple cities. They're working with cities like Guangzhou and have even received approval from China's Aviation Authority for commercial operations. Dozens of startups are racing to develop safe, affordable, and scalable flying vehicles. China's EV experience gave them a serious head start. <laughs> Flying cars are now part of China's official transportation development strategy. Cities like Shenzhen and Guangzhou are setting up low-altitude airspace corridors. China is rapidly building vertiports, sky-high charging stations, and smart city integration. Their 5G networks and AI systems make air traffic management easier. Chinese startups operate under fewer regulatory constraints, at least early on. It's like Silicon Valley speed, but with national backing. Imagine living in a mega city like Shanghai or Chengdu. Your commute is two hours each way. What if you could fly home in 10 minutes? Air taxis could reduce congestion, lower emissions, and redefine city planning. Emergency services could use flying vehicles for faster disaster response. Rural areas could be connected to cities like never before. This is not just about convenience. It's about economic transformation. But not everyone is cheering. Flying vehicles raise concerns about surveillance, especially in a country known for strict data control. What happens when thousands of flying cars buzz over cities? Who controls the sky? The U.S. is watching closely. Archer Aviation, Joby, and others are racing to keep up. Europe is building flying taxis for the 2024 Paris Olympics. But while the West talks, China flies. <laughs> So what happens next? Experts say by 2030, China could have flying car taxis in 100 plus cities. Xpeng wants their flying car to cost around $150,000, cheaper than some Teslas. Yihang is planning cross-city routes. This could be the new normal. A sky filled with vehicles, cities designed in 3D layers, and travel times cut by 90%. It sounds like science fiction, but it's happening now. So here's the big question. Are flying cars China's moon landing moment or another overhyped tech trend? Will you ride in a flying car someday? Would you trust it? Or do you think the world isn't ready? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next deep dive into the future. <laughs>